the word religion comes from the same root that ligament comes from, legare. Relegare is to reconnect. And my religion, my ethical religion, connects me to my friends, to my family, to the people I work with, to people I meet every day of my life. And the ethical aspect of my religion guides me in every interaction. It supplies the meaning, the purpose, and the reason for living the good life. It's a religion for me because it uh, provides uh, moral guidance and an understanding of the reasons for um, pursuing certain moral um, issues and moral ethics. And uh, um, I got into it because I wanted my children to uh, learn uh, about um, morality and to appreciate all of humanity without being... Um, required to believe something just because someone said they had to believe it. I wanted them to understand why they believed it and I wanted them to have some kind of guidelines for, for all of their lives that really could apply to all of humanity and not just segments of humanity. It is a religion to me because it's a dedication to the things that I think are most high and valuable to me and that is a dedication to the welfare of human beings. I feel it reflects a, a basic belief in people, that people are good, that they have a goodness in them that doesn't come from belief in some god or supreme being, but the good is here. It just seems very fundamental to me to have uh, a religion that is not uh, committed to some specific way of looking at the hereafter or God, or uh, but to look at life as it is and how do you move in this life in a fair way with respect to others to contribute and not ask too much what the Lord would do for me but what one might do for people. Thank you. The, uh, uh, the ethical values and the, and the world that people can make for themselves is uh, the most important issue to which we can devote ourselves. I believe, I guess there's a kind of a faith in that, in that we are uh, uh, basically optimistic uh, and believe in, uh, in progress when we say ethics is a religion. Um, but I also think there's an open-endedness and a, an opportunity for people to make whatever kind of world they want to. For me, it's important that I live my life and others live their lives, if possible, uh, with regard for in individuals as human beings. Um, every, I feel that every, every individual human being has, has uh, potential for, for uh, being better and for helping others to make this world a better place to live. A religion in the sense of I feel a, um, a certain loyalty to it. I feel a responsibility to work with it because I think that some of the issues that the ethical culture movement stands for are very close to my heart. Such as? Well, such as peace. I think of religion as that which guides my life and which... Um, which gives meaning to my life, which gives me the ultimate meaning for my life. And I think that ethics is the thing that most, um, I, the word comes to me, sings to me, that, that it's the thing that constantly drives me, it constantly challenges me every day in my life, in all of my relationships, um, within my family and with my friends and in my community, that it, it's ethics and how I behave in those relationships that is the most crucial working out of what I believe and, and who I am and the meaning of my life. And ultimately, I think for each of us, you know, we are alone in the universe. We have only ourselves. Everything else is transitory in our lives. And so we have to come to grips with the meaning in our own lives. And for me, that meaning re revolves around ethics and relationships. 
Why is it my religion? Because I think that um, ethical values and ideals are the most important things in the whole world. And I think that what you commit yourself to is most important, you can also think of as your religion. Because my religion, I think, comes from something that Felix Adler, the founder of ethical culture, said. He talked about treating people uh, based on their inherent worth as human beings rather than based on the value that they are to you. Uh, and I try to keep that thought foremost in my mind in my day-to-day -day encounters with people. In other words, when I meet somebody, I don't look upon that person as, say, a secretary whose value is measured by the fact that she might take dictation and type letters for me, but that I try to interact with her as a human being and that secondarily she's a secretary who has to fulfill her function but that regardless of the function, that she's a valuable person with an inherent amount of worth just by virtue of her being a human being. Yeah, I think uh, religion comes down to what you believe and what, how you show that belief. Uh, for traditional religions, you might uh, believe in a God and you might show that belief by going to church and, and worshiping. And ethics as a religion, uh, your beliefs are more in your fellow man. You have to show your beliefs in how you act, how you relate to people, and how you work to make the world a better place to live in. And I think the ethics is basically a commitment to man's highest ideal, to perfection and absolute fulfillment of what man could possibly do. And ethical culture is the way you can achieve that. Man, as with the ancient Greeks, when they practiced the first humanist religions, they made it so that man wasn't just an insignificant little thing on the face of the earth. Man actually meant something and he could do something. I believe that's what ethical culture is all about. You know, the peers I've, I have who are from other religious backgrounds, when I do talk to them, the one thing that we do come into a common agreement about are basic human principles. Um, when we put, you know, the questions of, you know, God aside and, you know, the Bible and Ten Commandments and we just start talking from ourselves that the one thing that we do have in common is the basic goodness that we're all looking for and that we can all agree upon. So in terms of that, a spiritualness that is in common with everyone, I think ethics is the basic of it, of it all. I think anything that you believe in on a day-to-day -day basis is your religion. So I think people has always been people as a as a concept and as an entity I've always been number one in the ethical movement any other belief that's 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 up to you but if you hold people as the highest and have a, have a genuine belief in people which partially requires accepting them as they are not as an ideal I mean everybody has ideals here and realities down here and the frustration is trying to squeeze the two together which can never be and when you accept things for what they are in their real state and have the ideal as something you aspire to and you work toward that ideal, then you can accept all people as they are and work with them to bring out the best in them. And as they say, when you bring out the best in others, you do bring out the best in yourself. Ethics plays an important part whenever I have to make a decision and I look into myself. But also it helps with interactions with other people and the kind of energy that I get from human interaction. So I see ethics instead of something out here, it's between people you and I. So ethics is important for me as an individual. It's important for me as I interact with another human being and something happens between us that I call ethical energy or something like that. And then together with a lot of us getting together and getting this energy and respecting the dignity and the worth of each one of us in our human lives, I found that good things happen and that's the way good things get done is because of this energy you get more and more people together you get more and more energy the respect is given you're respected for who you are as an individual and you celebrate the diversity of all the individuals I find that ethics as a religion is a road I am not finding like other religions want to find the truth I am finding the road by which I can be a better person be more caring for other people and uh, the interaction with other people which is very important to me so to me ethics is my religion I live it every day I try very very hard to uh, make sure that I try and work so that to elicit the best in others 
And strangely enough, I have grown tremendously in the last couple of years, so it has elicited the best in me also, which is what Felix Adler, the founder of the Ethical Society, held as one of the imperatives, that that was very important to try and do. And I feel that I am living ethical culture, but growing every day.